Mark, thanks for coming. We're uh, interviewing a few people about the Chinese labor market, and I know you've been doing, um, you have a very interesting paper about uh, brawn, brain versus brawn. Uh, and we know in China we've seen these clear trends of rising return to education for women more than men, and also higher educational attainment of women. Can you maybe explain your theory of what sure. may be driving this? Sure. So the, the, the basic idea, which is founded on, on you know, medical science, is, uh, and, and it's sort of obvious to everyone, which, which is that w essentially women have a comparative advantage in skill. So if we think of two important attributes that humans have, one is um, their brains, and the other is their brawn, their, their strength, their physical um, abilities. And you know, one thing that's true that's, that's agreed upon is that, that women are, are less strong than men. So relatively, uh, women have a comparative advantage in skill, which is the same thing as saying that men have a comparative advantage in, in brawn. So fine. And economic theory tells us that then based on that occupational choice is going to depend on comparative advantage. And so that would suggest, if the theory is right, that women will tend to disproportionately be uh, observed in skill-intensive occupations relative to, to men. So we see that. We see that increasingly in, in China. If we look at the occupational d uh, division, over time, since the Deng reforms, there's been an increasing trend where women are entering more and more relative to men into skill-intensive occupations. So you said this is happening in many contexts, many other countries. We see the same basic type yes, of Yes, there have been studies of estimating rates of return by women right. and men for schooling. And in European countries, it's almost all of them. In the U.S., it's true. It's true now in Bangladesh. And in all these countries as well, the schooling of women is higher than that of, of men. So it, and of course, this is all accompanied by jobs in general becoming more skill intensive. So the demand for skill-intensive jobs has gone up. And that's, you know, going back to China, that's the big trend in, in development in China, is that the skill-intensive jobs relative to brawn-intensive jobs have, have increased. It's basically a hallmark of, of development. And this tends to favor women, who have a comparative advantage precisely in those kinds of endeavors. So that means that the process is kind of accelerated in China because China's growing much faster than... Exactly. So the difference countries? is, and the reason that, in part, uh, you know, many other reasons why we chose to look at this in China in particular is because the speed of this was so rapid that you didn't need to go back a long time in history to see it. You, you know, it started in the, in the 80s, basically, and, and we have data from the 80s up to the current period to see these, to see these trends. So I had asked before about, you know, does this ever kind of f complete this yeah. process? And uh, I was just thinking that, you know, if the economy has very few brawn-intensive jobs, that it, where you know we have immigrants doing that, and right. most of the most people are doing basically man, uh, non-manual jobs. Yeah. Does this kind of eventually reverse, or does this somehow persist no matter what? It would seem to be kind of, just you know uh, it, was, uh, it, was, yeah, it seems to be fundamental. I mean, what's interesting is I mean you know a ramification of this, which is something particularly relevant for China. So China is known for its boy bias, right? And we can think of boy bias arising from the pre-development period where in fact most jobs were brawn intensive. Agriculture is a primary example of that. And we know in rural areas of China, boy bias is much magnified compared to urban areas, right? So as the economy changes and emphasizes skill intensive jobs where women have a comparative advantage, a prediction of all of this is, might be that the boy bias will disappear in, in, in favor of girl bias. There's always gonna be construction jobs. There's always gonna be jobs that involve uh, brawn, moving, right? yeah. Uh, you know, if you look at the the sex ratios in jobs like uh, police, fire, and even garbage collection, right? Those are and then construction. These are jobs that are going to be with us for a long time, and they're you know they tend to favor men. Those are perfectly good jobs, right? But they don't require um, you know MBAs or PhDs or MAs, right? But they pay well, and you know, they and they pay early that as a person can go from a high school education at 18 and do a perfectly good job after specific training for those occupations in, in a, an activity that's valued and will, and it will continue to be there.